Coach Opie Stavin on tonight's win over 20th ranked Coastal Carolina. Yeah, good good win for our program. Um, just uh, thought our guys played really well and um, just proud of them. Thought um, started on the mound. Ron Calvert got out of that first inning and then just gave us three more and, and pitched really good and uh, got some outs from Case and Connor in the middle and then um, just Luke Craig was outstanding. I mean, just absolutely outstanding, dominant. And um, we just did, you know, made the most of our seven hits. And um, some big swings there at the back end from Aiden Evans and Jack Kroon. I thought Nova Bilski's hit to just start that inning was huge. And, um, you know, what we did earlier with some small ball and then Brian's home run, just uh, all around good game against a very good team. And uh, hopefully that will continue to springboard us as we move forward in the conference this weekend. Coaches talk about the importance of getting the midweek win, especially against a ranked opponent. Oh, it's huge. I mean, we're um, we're kind of right there in the 70s in an RPI, yep. and um, you beat a top 20 ranked team that's got a decent RPI. Um, it's going to help you. And the good thing about our schedule the rest of the way, if we can keep taking care of business on the weekends, there's a lot of good RPI games midweek still left. And uh, I feel like our team can continue to just, like I've, I've, like I've challenged them, we, we can continue to get better if we keep working, and uh, I like the way we're kind of progressing right now. Jack Kroom and, and, and Luke both talked about the energy that Calvert brought today coming back after a couple of weeks off. What did you see from Ryan out there on the mound tonight? Well, first of all, like a week ago, you know, obviously two weeks ago, three weeks when we played Charlotte, he came out. I, I don't know if any of us knew if he was going to pitch anymore. Yeah. Like, had some shoulder problems and uh, you know we were very um, diligent about trying to find out what's going on and um, him and Tyler our trainer did a great job over the last two and a half weeks of kind of getting back um, and then he just said you know what I'd love to I'd love if you don't use me during the weekend I'd love to try to the midweek stuff and uh, I said all right you got it all right um, we didn't use him this week so he had it and uh, just outstanding job man really did after that first inning Big time for us, eight strikeouts, four innings, um, that's huge. Prior to the game, you, you honored and, and recognized Coach Gilmore. Just talk a little bit about Coach Gilmore and, and what he's done at the uh, Coastal program. No, just a, um, like, I'm, like I mentioned, uh, one of the most respected and, and most well-liked and just um, great guys in college baseball. And he's, uh, he's shown over the course of his career, 28 years at Coastal and 34 plus uh, in college baseball that, uh, I mean, he's averaged like 39 wins a year. <laughs> so that's a lot of wins and uh, just, uh, just a great human being. I mean, he's dealt with some health issues over the last several years that uh, a lot of people would have probably just packed it in. And he said, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna get through it. And I'm gonna keep doing what I love and representing the program there that he uh, coaches. But just a great human being, like I mentioned in the, uh, the pregame thing. I think he's a Mount Rushmore type person in college baseball. Um, just a, a really close friend of our programs. Obviously, Coach Scaff and him have a real tight relationship. So, uh, like I mentioned, outside of playing us, I'm wishing him all the best luck and I um, hope they do great the rest of the way. And um, I know he's going to have a great retirement with his family. Coach, thank you.